Hello again, I'm Joel Leonard. They call me the maintenance evangelist because I'm out there beating the bushes, trying to figure out some ways that we can make a difference in trying to solve some of the biggest challenges that we're facing. Right now, our biggest problem is trying to resolve this economic downturn that we're in. And it really pains me to see companies really having to grapple with some serious decisions. How do they keep their operations going? How do they uh, be more effective and how can they literally survive these challenges and a lot of companies are making very some the tough decisions that they're making they're actually letting go some of their valued and very skilled employees in the short term and, and it's really inhibiting their ability to grow and, and, and sustain themselves in the future and, and it's really sad uh, I've got a gentleman today that uh, tells me he can do something about that I want him to tell you about that so uh, I've got Adrian Messer of UE Systems. Adrian, thank you. Joe, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today. I'm glad to have you. You've got some gadget and gizmo here that I want you to share with everybody what this does and, and how companies can, you tell me that companies can, can do this to reduce their, their operational cost. Joe, that's exactly right. And uh, first of all, UE Systems, we've been around for 36 years. So we've already been through this energy conservation and these energy issues before back in the 70s. But uh, what we have here is airborne and structure-borne ultrasound. So we're able to take this instrument or any of our instruments, go out into a plant, plant environment with all the other equipment and background noise while everything's up and running, and we're listening for sounds we would never hear with our own ears. So tiny compressed air leaks, for instance, vacuum leaks, uh, specialty gas leaks, argon, helium, hydrogen, nitrogen, uh, natural gas. Uh, then the instruments also have contact probes that you can use for uh, steam traps. You know, a leaking steam trap or a steam trap that's failed over Open, uh, is just as costly if not more costly than a compressed air leak. Yeah, somebody told me that the typical energy budget or energy expense is 40% of that is waste. That's exactly right. And that's what we find a lot of times, and it's even higher than that for a steam trap survey. If a, a company has, you know, no matter how many steam traps they have, if they've never had a steam trap survey done, or if uh, it's been several years, it's easy to say that 50% uh, of their traps are, are failed or leaking by. So with a gadget like this, a company could go in and uncover where they literally patch the leaks in their operation, be more efficient, uh, not to have as much waste, and save money on the bottom line, that's, and that's not right. have to lay off the workers because they've, they've literally plugged the leaks in their operation. That's right. And it's, it's based off of three factors. And since we're talking about ultrasound, our readout on the instrument here is in a decibel level. So you can take an air leak, for instance. You can go out, when you find a leak with the instrument, your readout here on the display, it gives you a decibel level number. So you can take that decibel level, plug it into a spreadsheet that we have, enter in your cost per kilowatt hour and the pressure that you're running. It gives you a calculated value of how much that leak is costing you on an annual basis, or you can actually adjust your hours of operation if you're not running 24-7. Uh, and then it also gives you your CFM, so how much CFM is being lost uh, for that particular air leak, as well as uh, we've just added some, uh, some new columns to that spreadsheet. It gives you your um, energy information, so how much energy is being wasted in kilowatts per hour for that particular air leak, as well as your greenhouse gas emissions as well. Well, this, that's interesting, and, and literally what this can do is companies can use this to be able to, uh, uh, to, to make some serious, you know, production leaks and, 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 and avoid those issues. Now, what's, what I've seen, the Department of Energy, didn't they do like an evaluation? They found out a compressed air leak a quarter inch, a very small, like a quarter inch leak can actually cost like fifty thousand dollars a year yeah if it's a, at some of your higher pressures yeah that's a, that's a safe to say per year so and if they just plug a hole like that in a company which if you go in some of these companies you hear yeah. you can audibly hear this much less yeah. with a gadget like that yeah what companies t typically do now uh, they will walk out into their plant and maybe during a shutdown or even while you know things are up and running they'll kind of walk through and try to just listen with their own ears for an air leak and yeah you can hear a small percentage of those air leaks with your own ears but again we're talking about ultrasound you know uh, you know 
the, the leaks that you can hear with your own ears, you're only talking about you know probably less than five percent. Uh, but you know where your your really your real value is going to be in finding these leaks that you would never be able to feel or hear with your own ears. That's fascinating. I understand that they use this kind of gadget on the on the space shuttle. That's to exactly keep, right. Uh, keep oxygen in in the uh, in in the in the stations. So. That's right. And then uh, also this long range module here, uh, NASA actually helped develop this for us uh, after the the Challenger disaster back in the 80s. Uh, they came to us with this design. They wanted something that they could actually stand out on ground level and scan those booster rockets to listen for those uh, fuel leaks on the booster rockets. That's amazing. So give us a quick overview here on what, what this is and what it does. Sure, this is our Ultra Probe 10,000 here. Uh, it's a very simple to use handheld uh, ultrasonic instrument. Uh, we have several different attachments that will come with the, the instrument. We have a, a scanning module, which is your, your airborne module. So this module here you would actually use for uh, air leaks, vacuum leaks, gas leaks, uh, and then any type of electrical inspection. You can use this to listen for corona uh, tracking and arcing. Uh, in electrical components. And then all of the instruments will also come with a contact probe here. So this is going to be for our mechanical inspection. So here this would be used for our bearings, steam traps, pumps, motors, any, type, any uh, sort of mechanical inspection. Uh, this instrument has uh, data storage, so it's, it will come with a route building software. It's a data management software uh, where you can go into that software, create a route, load it into the instrument via the flashcard here, go out along that route, take readings, and then download your data back into that software. So that's, that's really where you start to get into the, the trending or the predictive side of, of maintenance. Um, also with the flashcard here, that gives you the ability to record sounds. So now we can go out, let's say we had a bearing or a motor that we wanted to record the sound of. We can record it here on the instrument. Uh, this instrument also comes with a, a spectral analysis software. So then we can take that sound, play it back, it gives us the audible sound as well as a visual spectrum. So uh, now it becomes very similar to vibration analysis. But uh, you know, with the ultrasound, you know, we're talking about going from a more uh, reactive maintenance to a more uh, predictive and you know proactively you know uh, so it's going to work in conjunction with your infrared uh, your vibration your laser alignment that, those sort of tools well we don't have a lot of time here but uh, you did something as we were getting set up with this bottle show us yeah, what, how this works uh, just to show you what an air leak would sound like uh, you know out in the plant uh, I've got just a simple squeeze bottle here. The threshold on the instrument, it, you can easily detect an, an air leak. Uh, it's you know 10 to, 10 to the negative 